all right hey everyone welcome to the stream how are y'all doing today i hope everyone is having a fantastic day i know i certainly am welcome on in guys all right so today it's another dungeon um this is actually one of the cooler dungeons guys this is the crypt of 100 trials this is the celebrating 100 dungeons dungeon so it is an easy difficulty ruins dungeon and it's got a lot of good loot in it uh, it's tech shield, tech generator, pump action shotgun, and the tech chest piece, so all things that you'd want. And it's got some really cool creatures, too. It's got Deodons, it's got Pegos. It's got Pegos. Um, I might actually try something. I don't think I've ever tried this, guys. I'm gonna grab a stack of Bolas. I don't normally carry them into dungeons because they're heavy, but there is a Deodon room, and I just want to see if I can, like not have my armor destroyed by the Deodons. <laughs> it's a pretty rare thing. All right, well, guess we'll go in here. Let's go ahead and go in. Uh, Fifi, yes, shotgun. Um, the odds of it being good are not good, but, you know, it's in there. Blah. Also, the dungeon is in the shape of 100, which is great. I am so confused already. Okay. I'm good now. I'm oriented. So I'm going to do a loot crate loot crate run first. Down here next to the facility door. There are a couple of premiums. This is a premium. Rock pavers. Hello, pony. There are equus in the halls and there's a premium there. It was supposed to be premium. It wasn't. That's okay. There's lots of uh, loot crates. Sorry, pony. Stamina cell. There we go. Take that. I'll grab this one and then that one. Lots and lots and lots of loot. And that one. How is everyone today? Ellen, welcome. Junkie, El Turo, Gecko, Extreme, how's it going? Um, do, do, do. The map is a mess. Fifi, it's in the shape of a 100. It's on purpose. There's Jerboas and Equus. It's a, it's got a lot of the good critters in it this week. All right, let's go this way. It only looks a mess at first glance. Um, it should be pretty straightforward once we get rolling here. Um. Yep, I go. I went a little sideways. There we go. All the way up this long hallway. Cooked meat jerky. Okay. Yeah, we're still good. There's a wall trap coming up. It's just not here yet. I go this way and get this loot crate. Excellent. And then I can get this loot crate. All right. And there's a wall trap here. Which you can now see. Wall trap. All right. I'm gonna wait for it. That's it. Excellent. Um, so there are a couple of traps. There's a wall trap. There is also a lava trap. Um, but there's not a whole lot else. There is a theory room as well, which is terrifying, but it's not a no armor theory room. So, so there's that. I don't know if I would call this dungeon easy. I might call it medium. Um, how can you do lava jump without the aerial symbiote? You jump to the platform in the middle. Um, it is... Totally possible to do that. I just am really, really bad at platformers. Like, when I try to jump from platform to platform, I always end up dead. Like, I cannot do it. Um, I know most most people don't have that same issue. It's just me, so... Yeah, you should be able to just jump to that middle platform with no problem uh, with the movement speed that you have. A little bit of practice. 
I will say that practice helps a lot. Um, I've been doing them with the aerial symbiote for so long that I actually am not good at jumping them without them. If you do have a single player game that you can burn, I would suggest doing that. I've completely lost track of where I am. Did I get all of those loot crates? I think I did. I think we're good to go this way. I think I got both of those. Oh well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, up. It's just a maze of loot crates. Basically the whole dungeon. That one. So many ponies. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna get the ones over here. I'm gonna get that one. Um, so close to doing dungeons, just need an ascendant bump shotgun. Uh, Elteral, you should be able to get one by running the, uh, snow cave. The cave of the strong. That is where they are primarily dropped from. Okay, I'm doing okay. Um, Scott, welcome. Dolphin, your iPad doesn't work at all anymore. Oh no! The iCloud save didn't work. Oh, Dolphin. If it's an iPad and you're using the same, like, login sign-on information, they should be able to transfer that data over. They should be able to. I ran out of breath. I've just been running out so many loot crates. Um, yeah, we're getting some okay stuff so far. Nothing super amazing, but that's okay. It's a lot of stuff. All right, Bria Curry. Cool. All right, now we're on to the last part of the zero here. The good news is, is this dungeon's pretty linear. There's a little, there's tiny little loot crate offshoots, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, first event room here. It's unicorns, guys. Tiny baby unicorns. Look at them. Look at them. Max level. If you want unicorns, this is a good week to get your unicorns. Just make sure you don't uh, shoot them into the ether like I just did with that one. There they are. Hi, cutie. Better to give the body somewhere to ragdoll. I mean, they've got cool names. I feel bad. Aww. But they're all max level, so if you want some max level unicorns, uh, this is a good week for it. Do, do, do. Got the male theory, you tamed, uh, male theory tamed, hatched the egg. Nice, Tyler. That's fantastic news. Getting all the good stuff. All right, let's grab this loot crate. And then we've got a lava jump. Oh. Even says take one. I have unicorn imprint, uh, implants saved. Um. I'm not super tied to taking more. I don't do a whole lot with the creatures on this game. It is single player, so I'd have to be like online watching them all the time. So I have the creatures I need, um, and then I have my Jerboa army, which is also needed. And then we're good. Yeah, so if you guys want to do this without a symbiote, you can jump to this platform if you time it right. Um, or if you're fast enough, you can run and jump to the middle platform platform uh 180 movement speed should be fast enough to get you to the second platform without doing that one i believe and of course of course my elgato would give up all right well i made it through hold on guys 
My capture card decided to die. I don't know if it's going to come back. I don't think it's going to come back. Gosh dang it. The sound is coming through, but the video has cut out. Why are you upset with me? Why are you upset? There we go. Did I fix it? I fixed it. Yay. Okay. Yeah, Commando, every now and then. I'm used to it, unfortunately. Um, I got it working again, though. That's the most important thing. Okay, so... Oh, gosh, where am I? This is an RG room. Technical difficulties. You know, it's the curse of a, a mobile gamer is that you have to use all this extra equipment to be able to stream from your phone. And it's really frustrating sometimes. Like, it, it's not very reliable, any of it, which is kind of silly. Because uh, you'd think they'd be better at making these things by now. Bird? Bird. No more bird. Bird gone. Yay. So that's an eerie RG room. A uh, growing RG threat. It does not take long if you have a good enough shotgun. Put that out there. There we go. That should be the tech structure. And it is. I got a tech trap door. And then that should be premium. I got a bed. That's pretty cool. An elegant bed. All right, this is another one. This is a slow dodo threat. Dodo room. It is easier to reach them. I'm actually gonna harvest these because I need the meat for the pego room. Pego room meat. The more I have, the better. What's a capture card? Um, a capture card is a device that basically mirrors one screen and sound to another one. In this case, capture cards are usually used to stream things like um, Xbox or PlayStation, other consoles, the Switch, um, or in my case, mobile devices. Um, they're used to like mirror that screen onto a PC screen and then I can stream from my PC because it's not easy to stream directly from a mobile device. It's actually very frustrating to do that. I, uh, could not figure out a way to stream from my mobile device without like a third party site, like creating ugly watermarks and the quality was always terrible. So I figured out ways to do it from my computer directly. Um, capture card is one of the best ways to do that. All right. Dodos go bye-bye. Well, let's grab this. Ascendant flak chess piece. I forgot I had that on. Oh, no. I'm going to equip that. I don't want to waste it. All right. We've got to grab that. Facility key. Yay. And that. Just a thing. Packy Rhino saddle. Alright, I am super weighed down though. Is there anything I can drop reasonably? I mean, no. Yes, no. I don't want to drop the meat. That's the problem. Well, we'll see. Uh, do I think you should use, you could use a double barrel shotgun for this dungeon? Yes, absolutely. Uh, double barrel shotguns, uh, work just as well as the normal ones, as long as they're strong enough. Drop the hide. Don't, uh, don't Pegos pick up hide, though? I thought they did. I could be very wrong about that.
<laughs> High knees. Okay. We did it. We did that. The funny part is, is it's basically a straight shot back to the uh, facility door. It is not hard to get there. Yeah, they do. Meep, meep, crazy. How's it going? What's my favorite dungeon? Oh my gosh, my favorite? Honestly, it might be the Titanosaur dungeon. I really love the little Titanosaur one. Um, I like the Unicorn dungeon as well. This one's pretty great. I like the dungeons that give you a lot of good stuff, but I don't know. I also enjoy the challenges of the hard dungeons. I can't think of a specific hard dungeon. I do not like the ones that don't have lights, though. Those ones suck. Okay, I need to pay attention now. Okay, I'm still fast enough to make it through the wall trap, which is all that really mattered. And then we go down this way. Sorry, ponies. I know, I know, I'm a monster. Okay, we did it. Down to the pega room. Hi, pony. Uh, facility gate. And then be very careful, because the next thing you have is pegos. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to protect the stuff that I want to keep. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to run over to this corner. Let me grab it back. Never mind. They eat the meat. There we go. Hey. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. We're doing all right. Not what I wanted. All right, we're fine. Ha-ha! It was just enough meat. Yay! That's the trick. Bring in, like, tons and tons and tons of raw meat to this room. Um, I did not lose a single actually useful item, and I love that. We can go put that there. Put that back there. Let me look for them. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Medical bruise, eh. water, stimulants. There you go. Now I don't need any of this. I also don't need that pego one. Uh, but if you do want the eerie pegos and the eerie jerboas and the eerie dadons, those are all dungeon exclusive creatures um, that you've just that are all just kind of collected here in this one dungeon. So it's a it's a good week for them. Deodons have not been in dungeons in a long time, so if you want Deodons, this is a very good week to get them. Um, I already did that other loot crate run, so now here we are. Yay. Grab that. 
Alright, let me grab this. Uh, what's my favorite extinct animal IRL not in ARC? Like, an extinct animal that is not in ARC that is my favorite? That's a good question. Uh, probably the Equohippus. Equohippus. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong. It's been a minute. It's a tiny little, like, deer-like creature that is the ancestor of the horse. They're very, very cool. Alright, it's the Deodon room, so I was gonna do a thing. Where I tried a thing. And I don't know how well it's gonna go. But we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Jess, oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're a member. You've been a member for 15 months. Ow. That one's gonna release. Bolas do feel really good. Really? Are you immune? There we go. You're annoying. Mate boosted. Gosh, the healing. If you want to keep your armor intact, you'll take in bolas. They're kind of heavy. But, uh, they do make it a little easier. I missed. I'm great. Come at me, little pig. There we go. Just long enough. Wow, they're very quick. What? I had extra! I hate trying to shoot these guys up close. Because your shots, like, don't count. Annoying. Finally. There we go. Ah, he's loose. There we go. That's probably one of the most irritating rooms in the dungeon, and it's just because those guys... Their hitboxes are so weird. It's really hard to hit them when they're close to you. And they have so much health that, like, a melee is not practical to kill them quickly. So, Bolas did a pretty good job. They made it definitely a little easier. And they also destroy your armor, so I took a lot less damage there than I would have. Under normal circumstances. I did a new thing, guys. I showed you. Bolas are great. Which you probably already knew. <laughs> Worth a little bit of weight, I would say. <laughs> they are so annoying to fight. They really are. They really are. Alrighty. I've gotten a lot of half pavers. This is a... It's a dungeon that's got quite a few premium chests in it. And I've only gotten, like, really... Kind of... Mediocre premiums. I'm a little bummed. Hello, Dung Beetle. An apprentice pump action shotgun. That's the featured loot, by the way. Terrible. That's okay, though. 
I'm fine. Only a little annoyed. Grab it. Water. Oh, did I get a day at Unsaddle? I did! That's fantastic. Okay. Wrong one. There it is. I'm gonna be very careful here. This is the last event room. Where is my... There it is. Okay. Yeah, lots of stuff. I guess I've gotten some good premiums, but there are some others that are weird. Packy Rhino Saddle's kind of cool. The weapons are meh at best, but if you run it a few times, you might get something decent. You never know. Okay. So the real trick is, uh, this is a theory room. <laughs> this is a theory room. So this is going to be fun. What are my thoughts about the MOA? I love the MOA. It's such a cool animal. The MOA should have won the vote. I also love the MOA. Um, I actually did a presentation on the MOA. If they had like 20 pound eggs. It was crazy. So you have mini theories. They still hurt just like big theories. And they sound like big theories, so be careful. They're just harder to hit than big theories. This is the toughest room in the whole thing. Well, maybe the deodons. The deodons are worse, but the tickled chickens are not great. They will have a slightly hard time hitting you, but... Do I have vibrations on my phone, Damien? Yes, I do. Because I sometimes play with my sound off, and it's very, very helpful. Like, I have to play with my sound off when I, like, open it up at work. I, like, can't have the arc noises just be playing in the middle of things. So, vibrations let me know if I'm being attacked. And then I can pretend it's a text. Works great. Um, you're tired of theories. One day the game kick you out when you're in the room with theories and it was online. Oh, yep. I know the pain. None of these are dead yet. Elephant birds. Yes, elephant birds were also very cool. Ow. He slapped me. He, he, like, full-on checked me into the wall. The pain. How do you like it? Paolo, hello. How's it going? Ah, how do you still have so much health? As long as you back up, they can't really hit you very well. I might try that, because it's easier than running. I might just try backing up slowly. Oh, that's it? Oh. Well, there was one wave of tiny baby fairies. That's why this is an easy dungeon. I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna call it easy. Yeah, they're correct. It's easy. Um, you despise fairies. They're not so bad this time around, because they didn't really do a lot. Uh, I need to start my weekly dungeon pursuit. I'm going to check. My health is fine. My armor's fine. I think we're good to go. I am going to throw up the save. Because you never know. You never do know, guys. You never do know. <laughs> Max size for dodos on mobile. 3.6 something? Something like that. Ellen, I'm sorry you were sick, Ellen. That's okay. I am in a crash loop now, guys. You can hear it. What's the stream runtime? You wanted to ask, uh, do we need to explore all rooms or can we just go straight to boss room? Field, you will need to go to the facility key. Um, so in this case, you do need to do all of the rooms. None of them are optional. There are no optional rooms, only optional loot crates. And the loot crates are not the part that I would skip if I were you. Um, yeah, there aren't any optional ones. If you already have a facility key from like one of the, what are they? Like primal pass loot drops or something. 
or you bought them from the store with Amber, you can go uh, straight through the Pego Deodon and Theory room. So you can speed run this. It is possible. Gula Beetle. Where are my... Aha. There he is. Hi, buddy. I wonder if I can get him stuck on the first try. Uh, nope. Ah! He do hurt when he hits, so... Okay, we're gonna do a little... Haha! -ha. Perfect. He's right where I want him, literally. Can you upload new breeding videos again? Maha, what kind of breeding videos would you like to see? Would you like to see just like mutation videos? Mass hatching videos? Stuff like that? I could do that. You had food poisoning and you're dehydrated. Oh no, Ellen. I'm so sorry. That sounds awful. I'm really glad you're feeling better. Like, yeah, definitely. Drink the water. It takes like a couple of weeks to get fully over food poisoning. Awful. Mutation videos. Mutations would be a great video. You know? I haven't done, like, ARC mobile videos in a while. I think I could do some mutation videos. That'd be kind of fun. Are these new updates? Haven't played ARC for a long time. Nope, not yet. Uh, the revamp is coming at the end of 2023. So in, like, six months. No, don't do it. Don't get... He got smart. Ugh. He hurts really bad when he hits you guys, so don't let him hit you. Now would be a good time to poop. Get stuck. Stay stuck. There we go. Oh, he went flying. Bye, buddy. It was nice to meet you. Haha. -ha. Good stuff. Lots of element. All right. Mutation videos would be amazing. All right. By the end of this year, I think ARC will be way more popular. Paolo, I would... I would agree. I think that with the revamp, it's definitely going to get a, a little spike in players as well as viewers, hopefully. Um, which would be pretty cool. Ellen, you ate expired eggs. Oh, no. That's like one of the worst ones. That you can't buy with it. Never eat the expired anything. I learned my lesson the hard way when I ate expired noodles. Don't ever do it. Don't ever do it. It's not worth it. Not worth the risk. Uh, Nathaniel says, appreciate your vids. You're the go-to when it comes to suggesting videos to others. Thank you, Nathaniel. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate you hanging out and watching as well. What's my movement speed? 180.5. I would, I would suggest minimum 180% movement speed for anything you do in the dungeons. Um, I also like to get a decent amount of stamina and health. Um, it makes things go a little bit quicker. And then just enough weight to carry all of the junk that I carry, which is quite a lot. Uh, good loot this week, actually. I'm pretty happy with my premium structures. I don't know about the pavers, but, you know, it's part of the package. And then we did get quite a few blueprints. All of these are from this week's dungeon. So you get a Deodon saddle, which is cool. You get some Packy Rhino saddles, which are cool. The featured loot was not great, but, you know, it's a it's a roll of the dice. And then you also got um, some tech structures, more Deodon saddles. An Ascendant Flak chest piece, which is not great. You know, it's a mixed bag. Um, the only things that I really like this week are the Deodon saddles and that tech, but... That's okay. 
Data on saddles are always useful. Always. Oh, Ellen, you didn't know about the floating egg test until after. <laughs> I'm glad you know now. I'm glad you know now. All right, guys. There we go. Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out. It's an easy dungeon this week. It's 100% worth running. It's super, super fun. Um, you've got all of the dungeon exclusive creatures except the Megatherium, but that's okay. You've got the Jerboas, the Pegos, the Deodons. It's pretty great. And there's unicorns. So, you know, it's worth doing. Uh, thank you, guys. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this or those mutation videos people are asking for, uh, you can, of course, subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana. <laughs>